Shalom. I want to give all the praise, all the glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Bahashem, Rakakudash. Double honors goes out to the uh, elder apostles of, of Great Millstone. And um, also want to acknowledge all the Akiam who are pushing the truth, you know, with sincerity throughout the four corners. So I'm going to go into um, 1 Maccabees chapter 2. And I'm just probably going to read a few verses here in, through the Spirit. It says, in those days, I've been in the Maccabees, so I did chapter 1, so now we're doing 2. It said, in those days arose Matthias, the son of John, the son of Simeon, a priest of the sons of Jorib in Jerusalem, and dwelt in Modin. Which I got a little note here, it says Modin is northeast of Jerusalem. So anyway, and he had five sons, Joannin, called Cadus, Simon called Thassi, Judas, who was called Maccabees, Eleazar called Evron, and Jonathan, whose surname was Aphis. <clears throat> where are we at? Where are we at? Let's see. Verse 6. And when he saw the blasphemies that were committed in Judah and Jerusalem, he said, Woe is me, wherefore was I born to see this misery of my people and the, of the holy city, and to dwell there when it was delivered into the hand of the enemy and the sanctuary into the hand of the strangers. You see, so the men they they rose up. Their in in men, their mentally mentality was like they hated seeing their people committing all the abominations that they were committing because they because they had made the covenant with the heathen. So you had men who who uh, who stayed righteous no matter what the heathen, and they always come into the repentance. They come into the understanding, of the truth of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, the remnant, right. <clears throat> Let's say KJV. Let me see this. It's a lot, yeah, but let's go. Let me grab this verse. <clears throat> yeah, we go to Isaiah. Let's see. Because this is the remnant, right? The. Um, the men who these Maccabees, they're, they're, in those days, that, in that time, these guys were the remnant. So let's get it real quick. Let me turn this up a little. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Two and... I'm going to read that verse seven again. Let's see. <clears throat> It says, and he said, Woe is me, wherefore was I born to see this misery of my people and of the holy city and, and to dwell there when it was delivered into the hand of my of the enemy and the sanctuary into the hand of the strangers. You know, talking about the um, Jerusalem, talking about the, you know, the temple. You know, it was being occupied by these heathen, by the, you know, the... the the Edomites, where they were changing up the... Well, I'm going to wait till the, we get to there. Chapter 3 will we'll get heavy. Because I'm in the Lord's will. I'll just go through the Maccabees, you know. But anyway, right here, you have a, the Mac, he Maccabees. His mindset was, hey, he didn't want to see his people in the state that they were in. Just like here in Babylon. You know, we see the state of our people right now. And, you know, we're, we now that we come into remembrance of who we are and, and the way it's supposed to be, we look at it, we're like, our people are way off, you know? So we're going to, you, you, but you always had that uh, remnant, right? So Isaiah, let's go to 10, let's start at 21. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob and the mighty power, Yahweh. See that? So the remnant is uh, what it is. <clears throat> this is the remnant in that day. Why? Because they were they didn't appreciate the abominations around them. All right? For though thy people be Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decreed shall overflow with righteousness. Okay? So that's why not everybody receives the truth because they're not part of the remnant. If you're in the, the if you're of the remnant, which that word re means remaining, 
But if you're part of that number, the remnant, then, um, you know, that's that's where you want to be. That's that one third of Israel that repents and believes in, starts out with believing in these truths. Starts out with knowing the names, the basic, right? Basic, but the most powerful part of the foundation. Verse 22. Let's see. No, Salakia. Verse 8. Why did, okay, let me go down. First Maccabees 2 and 8 says, Her temple has become as a man without glory. You see that? Talking about you Israelites. You know? I'm, her temple has become as a man without glory. You, you don't have no glory. There's no beauty. There's no beauty on these... On our people right now, because the the you know the majority of them have just dismissed the truth. They they forsaken the the real um, God of the Holy Bible, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, right? The Father and the Son. They don't re they, they don't receive this. So this is an example of our people. They're they're too busy receiving all kind of other doctrines which don't line up with our he with our text. You see, with our book. So let's read this. Verse 9. Her glorious vessels are carried away into captivity. Talking about our, the, the men, the women, the Israelites. Her infants are slain in the streets. Her young men with the sword of the enemy. You see that? Why do you think you see all this? It's always the, the casualties of the of the Israelites in Babylon. You know, this, this is a high number compared to the other nations. You see, that, that goes without saying. All right, let's keep reading. What's this, verse 10? What nation had hath not had a part in her kingdom and gotten of her spoils? You see that? All these heathen nations were dipping in on us. They were all oppressing us. So that's why, this, that's why it says that. That's why all the heathen nations are going into slavery, but Esau, Edom is going into the, uh, the hardest the most extreme slavery in the kingdom, right? So let's keep reading. Verse um, 11. All her ornaments are taken away of a free woman. She is become a bond slave. And so we are, remember, Jeremiah 6 and 2. The reason why it says she has become a bond slave is talking about all of us. Because I bring it out all the time. Jeremiah 6 and 2, it says, I have likened the daughter of Zion to the comely, delicate woman. You see? So let's go back. So she's a, a comely, Israel's a, a delicate woman. So that's who this is talking about right here. Well, let me go back to it. Or what's brisk was that? Okay, 11. All her ornaments are taken away of a free woman. She has become a bond slave. Israel is like Zion is likened into the um, is likened into a woman. It's that woman it's talking about. And behold, our sanctuary, even our beauty and our glory, is laid waste, and the Gentiles have profaned it. See, so the Gentiles have pro and at this at this uh, point in history, they have profaned the the temple in Jerusalem, but. You know, they also, you know, are having their hand devouring our people, um, you know, profaning it like that also. Because they, they devour people, our people because back then, even our people were um, going off, right? They were making covenants with the heathen. Just like right now. If you're in a, a different doctrine other than Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh the one we teach with the, through the Hebrew Israelites, GMS, you, you, then you, this is... You don't have the truth. We just know. We just we just we, we do it with through the spirit. The spirit is our weapon. So you see, we you know we can use this as a weapon against anybody, but contrary, they can't do it. Okay. So let's keep reading this. Verse twelve, and behold. Our sanctuary, even our beauty, our glory is laid waste, and the Gentiles have profaned it. I just spoke on that. To what end, therefore, shall we live any longer? Right? So there, these men were like pissed off when they saw the abomination. They couldn't believe it. They seen the people just making covenants with the heathen. And now, see, they're kind of, they, they saw it like that. We, 
we had to come into remembrance, but they knew who they were. You know, the Maccabees knew who they were. They knew they were the Israelites. But in our captivity, we didn't know who we were. Right? We had to, we had to come into remembrance even as, you know, older, you know, group. You know, men that are weren't born into the truth, born into knowing that they were Israelites. You see? <clears throat> so where we have verse 13, no, 14. Then Matthias and his sons rent their clothes and put on sackcloth and mourned very sore. So they were they were they're in a time of mourning, right? Just like the uh, elect, the prophets that sigh and cry in uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4, right? We cry for the abominations done in the midst thereof. You know, actually, I'm not even going to go to it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep reading here in Maccabees. Let's see. First Maccabees 14. Oh, it's like a 2 and 14. So they put on the sackcloth, right? There was mourning. That's what we wear when we teach. We wear that sackcloth. Um, so we're doing this. We're in the, it shows you we're coming in the same spirit as the the elect, right? The elect were doing this. It was didn't say everybody was getting pissed off about the the abominations, the law changes, and the strange laws that our people were keeping. You see, and then now you know, like I said, we always said, just fast forward. How much worse right now are our people? You can't even tell them the names without them being offended. Verse 15. In the meanwhile, the king officers, such as compelled the people to revolt, came into the city, Modin, to make them sacrifice. You see that? So there was coming after them because they're the remnant. That's how they always do it. They're going to come after the remnant of this time. You see? Let's keep going. Nothing new under the sun. That's what, uh, let's get that real quick. These Edomites, they, everything, history repeats itself. Why? Because the same spirits coming back and forth. Let's see. <clears throat> there we go. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. So there's no new thing under the sun with these, with with the spirits of all the nations, and even our people, right? We're coming, like I just told you, the men in the truth were coming in the spirit of these brothers, the Maccabees, the group, right? Let's read it. Let's see, verse one, <clears throat> two, and fifteen. Or no, wait, let's see, <clears throat> sixteen. And when many of Israel came unto them, Matthias also and his sons came together. Mattathias, I said it wrong. Then answered the king's officers and said to Mattathias, On this wise, thou art a ruler and an honorable and great man in this city, and strengthened with sons and brethren. All right. <clears throat> Let me see. Now therefore come thou first, and fulfill the king's commandment, like as all the heathen have done. See, so they're, they're, the king's officers is like, hey, you guys need to do what everybody else is doing. Get with the program. Just like Esau Edom, when he comes he comes at us, when he starts to uh, mandate his uh, RFID, he's going to come in the same spirit right here he, that he's talking. He's telling him, telling the elect, saying, hey, you, you need to take this commandment. You need to, you need to you know, sell out your quick key. You can't keep your laws no more. The, the, the Esau was that's what he was telling you that's how you became a Gentile that's how our people became Gentiles because all of a sudden now they uh, you know it was just you guys were off the, the heathen the, you, you two thirds walking the way of the heathen right you don't thinking about Yahweh Hashem Yahweh you're thinking about all kinds of other things that has nothing to do with the truth now therefore come thou first and fulfill the king's commandment, like as all the heathen have done. Yeah, see, and that's look at that. I'm gonna highlight that. I'm surprised it's not already highlighted in my book. Let's see. <clears throat> thou so shalt thou and thy house be in the number of the king's friends, and thou shalt and thy children be honored with silver and gold and many rewards. See, they're trying to sell them, bribe them, trying to offer them money and stuff. That's Esau eat them for you, man. What do you think he does with those soul contract uh, celebrities, you know? What does he do with that? The same thing he's doing right here, saying bribing them, trying to bribe them.
time he's gonna pay him and stuff to give him rewards and honors. You see, we spoke the remnant. We're supposed to worry about the honor of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, not not the uh, commandment of men, right? Verse nineteen, it says. Let me see here. Then Matthias answered and spake with a loud voice, Though all the nations are under the king's dominion, obey him and fall away every one from the religion of their fathers and give consent to his commandments. See, this is what they're asking everybody to do for them to be one nation. <coughs> that new world order spirit. Right? That's the same thing they were doing back in the Maccabees. They had that new world order spirit on them. Why? Because it's nothing new under the sun. These are the same Edomites who are reincarnated who are doing it right now. All right, let's see. <clears throat> um, where are we at? Where are we at? Verse 20. Yet will I and my sons and my brethren walk in the covenant of our fathers. You see that? That's what we're doing. We're saying the same thing. We're saying, you know what? We're we're gonna hang on to the truth. We're not gonna we're not gonna um, you know, be deceived. The elect can't be deceived, man. So that's why we hold on to this truth, because only the elect cannot be deceived by any of this. You know what we're around us right now. These abominations, everything here in Babylon, it's only about the elect. The elect can you know the, the Lord puts a spirit on the elect to actually be able to believe this truth, and also understand it through the prophets. Verse 21, the Most High forbid that we should forsake all the laws and ordinances. See, so they were, that's what they're on. He's like, are you kidding me? We ain't going to just let the laws of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh go. You see, that's the spirit that we're practicing to be in. Just like these these examples in, in the scripture. We have examples to how we should have been. Like when, we, when you read it, you're like, oh shoot. We're in that same spirit as our, as our forefathers. See that? Worried about Yahweh Bashem Yahweh's laws and ordinances, right? Like, like he just said. He says, verse 22, We will not hearken to the king's words to go from our religion either on the right hand or the left. So they were, he was getting like, no, we're, we're going to keep it real. We're going to stay with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh. We ain't consenting to your religion, you know? In that day, they would be considered rebels, right? The Maccabees were rebels. You see that? That's what. That's really what. Uh, what the uh, they're gonna put that label on us, you know, because we're doing the work of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh just like our forefathers here that we're reading about. Well, let's see. What we're, hold on a second. Verse twenty-two. We will not hearken. We will not hearken to the king's words to go from our religion either on the right hand or the left. You see that. They weren't trying to hear Esau's laws, man. That's the same spirit we're in. We're not trying to do your, uh, you know, your wicked inventions. I'm not even going to say what they are because we don't want to get this video taken down. Verse, um, but see, you can't deceive us. So we're, we're going to stay away from that stuff if we're the elect. And you know what? This is a long chapter. So Lord, I'm going to go back in on it. But with that, I want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh Bahashim. Shai Bahashem, Kakudash, double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. I'll, and I also want to acknowledge the Akiam who are pushing this truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom to the elect. Keep pushing, brothers, and um, 